5% on a savings account is exactly what I found while doing research on the top three credit unions in the United States of America. Now, did I mention that all these credit unions are backed up by the federal government, so your money is 100% safe? Now, that's not all I did, guys, because I know a lot of people on YouTube that talk about the same topic, but what they never do is kind of go through different types of credit unions for different types of people. And that's exactly what I wanted to do for this video. So the first thing that I want to tell you guys is this, right? I found credit unions for check-ins and savings, like really high interest rates on that. And then I found credit unions for students and teens. Like if you want a student, you're in college or whatever you are, I found a credit union for you also. And on top of that, I also found a credit union for people that are like me, that just want the highest rate out there and the best deal out out there and on top of that I also got you guys a little bonus so I recommend you guys actually stick to the end so you can know what bonus credit union I actually got you and how much does it actually earn you now tip it's around almost 5% APR on a savings accounts and there's no strings attached now guys like all my videos I will be calling customer service so you guys can get all the information from the horse's mouth I will be calling them asking them a whole bunch of questions so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about and you can actually hear it from them directly and then that way we can actually test the customer service and you can actually find out if they're good or bad because customer service is one of the most important things for me and it should be also for you now guys if you don't know me my name is Tyne Bryson I'm an accountant and I've been practicing personal finance for the past four years and on top of that I owe you guys a huge thank you because I got this video idea from the comments down below and it was Zeke and Angel that gave me this idea and here we are making a video about the top three credit unions in America and I'm very excited about this one and also guys I post videos every single day so make sure you and also guys I post videos here on this channel every single day on finance how to make money and how to explain a whole bunch of concepts that they never really taught you in school so make sure you subscribe when you subscribe hit that notification bell so then when I upload you get notified exactly on time whenever I upload that video so you never fall behind now guys make sure you comment down below and you let me know if you use a bank or a credit union. Me personally, I use a bank because I can't qualify for like the average credit union out there because I don't have a regular job, but I did find some credit unions in this list that you can actually register for without having to be a part of the army or an airline or anything like that. Like it's just normal people can just register for it and it's actually very good. It's not that bad. Okay, so let me know in the comments down below if you have a bank or a credit union. Now, before we start and I tell you the top three credit unions out there, I do wanna mention this. Last video that I did on credit unions, I told you the difference between a credit union and a bank. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and click the link up here in one of those cards or like in the description down below to watch that and you come back to watch this video so you can actually understand what I'm talking about. But if you don't want to watch that entire video, I'll give you the skinny right now, which is basically like the summary. And it's that, you know, credit unions are nonprofit, banks are for profit. Anyone can join a bank, but not anyone can join a credit union. There you go. 10 seconds, you watch the entire video in this one clip. But if you want all the details, every single ounce of detail, then I recommend you watch that video. Go quick, we'll wait for you here. Now, the first credit union we're actually gonna be talking about is the Alliance Credit Union. Now, they're known for having a very high APR on the check-ins accounts and also their savings accounts, but on top of that, they also are known for having a 3% cash back on a credit card. If you want me to do a whole video on that one credit card, let me know in the comments down below. Just comment it down below and I'll make it happen. Now, here's the deal. What I'm gonna do is this, guys. Like every single video, I'm actually gonna call them and talk to them and see how the customer service actually works, if they're good, if they're friendly, and they can actually answer all my questions. Now, if you're new to the channel, I always make up a story and a scenario so they can take me more seriously. So in this case, I'm gonna say I'm a federal employee and I also have a wife, which I don't, and I'm not a federal employee at all. I'm just like a YouTuber. I'm gonna do all this stuff to make sure I can squeeze out all the information we need from these people. So let's call them right now. So the number for Alliance is 1-800-328-1935. So let's see how long it takes them to answer the phone, how fast they pick up, and all that stuff. Welcome to Alliance Credit Union. Thanks for calling Alliance Credit Union. This is Ivan speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Ivan. My name is um, Tommy. How are you? I'm doing well. How's your day going? I'm doing well, Ivan. Um, Ivan, I'm just calling in today because I'm a federal employee, I have a wife, and we're just like looking around and shopping around for credit unions. And I just have a few questions I want to ask you just to see if like if it's a good fit for us or or if it's not, if that's fine with you. Okay, I definitely, yeah, that's, that's, that's um, definitely fine. Um, what information were you trying to, you yeah, trying just, to get? Yeah, just some basic information because I was looking around and I found you guys on the Nerd Wallet and it actually showed me that you guys are like one of the best credit unions. I think you have like, you guys are like maybe like the, like the fifth largest in like the country? Yeah, we definitely um, try to, to satisfy um, all of our members as much as we can here on our end. All right, and okay, so a few a few questions like what um what do we need to actually qualify for? Like who can qualify, who can't qualify, and all that stuff. Okay, so in, in order to meet that um eligibility list, 
um, it would be um, any, like work-wise, it would be employees and retirees of United Airlines and United Continental Airlines are eligible. Okay. Um, if, that, if you don't meet that criteria, you can do it by family. Any relatives of the existing Alliant members are eligible. Okay. If, um, if that one doesn't qualify you either, then there is another option that we do have. Like a, um, It's going to be like a donation. Um, it's going to be to foster care to success. Okay, so what it sounds like is, is that um, if I have a family member in Alliant, they can just like have me register. If I'm an employee or an airline employee, I can also register. And if I don't meet any of those qualifications, I can basically just like donate five bucks on your behalf. Is that is that five bucks like um recurring or is it just like a one time five bucks I'm donating? No, it's just gonna be um a one time thing to establish okay. that membership. It's not gonna be recurring. Okay, and 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 what are the what are the how does how does the um the check-ins accounts and the savings accounts work? Like, what's the APY, the APR, and that stuff? On that basic uh, savings account, the um, annual percentage yield on that is gonna be two point one zero percent. On the savings accounts, two point ten percent. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. And then, if you do decide to open up um, a checking account, let me get that here for you. Okay. So that checking account is going to have that annual percentage yield of point six five percent. Point six five percent. The checking account. Yes, the checking yeah. account. Wow, that's that's insane because that's actually higher than than our bank now because we bank with Chase and Chase just gives us point zero one five on our savings accounts. Point zero. Okay. Yeah. So, so to actually get like um point sixty five just from um a checkings accounts and two point ten from a savings account is actually very crazy. Yeah, it's definitely like a good option here. Um, it's one of our most like popular rates that we have here for that um savings and and checking the high rate the high rate checking account. Yeah. And what about are there any fees associated with the account? Like any monthly fees, maintenance fees, or anything like that? Let me get all that information here for you. Is this what you guys are calling perfect customer service? He doesn't even know all the information. This information that you should always have on hand and should always know. And whenever I call a bank or an online bank, they always know all these answers. As far as that, for that, um, like any um, fees associated with the account, there's not going to be like any a monthly monthly fees. Okay. Um, the only thing that you would have to go ahead and do um, to, to keep that membership is just have those $5 in that, in that um, savings account. Okay. And then you'll be able to to go ahead and use that account um, without any fees or anything. Okay, so what it sounds like is there's no fees whatsoever associated with the account, but if I keep a $5 um, minimum balance, like my account should be in, in, in good in good hands, basically. Yes. Okay. Yeah, awesome. that's correct. Yeah, because to establish that membership, those um, $5 are on hold the entire membership. Okay, awesome. And what about the um, any ATM fees associated with it? And how many branches do you guys have? And how many ATMs, like, well, like basically worldwide or, like, um, nationwide? So, as far as that, uh, we just have two uh, two branches. They're both in Illinois. Um, one. Wait, two uh, branches Chicago. total? I thought I thought you guys had 11 branches total. No, so, uh, um, so, so unfortunately, um, we did close a few branches. So, now we just have um, those two branches. Our main office on Tui Avenue in Chicago. Okay. And then the one in the Willis Tower branch in Chicago also. Okay. And what about ATMs? How many ATMs did you guys have? Let me see if I can get that here for you. Okay. Very weird that they closed two branches. Usually signs of um basically either cutting or basically maybe something's going on with the company. I'm not sure about that, but it's just weird. weird. Online it says 11. As far as that, unfortunately, um, I don't have like a specific amount of ATMs that, that we do have, but um, if, if, if uh, for whatever, for, I'm sorry, if for whatever reason you use like non-network ATMs, yeah. um, we do offer like a tw- the, Twenty dollar monthly rebate for fees. Okay. Um, if you do, um, that would apply to like transactions made with regular debit cards. Okay. Yeah, because I did notice like when I checked online, it said um that there was like I think you guys have like eighty thousand ATMs or so. But you're saying also I was, I I I also get a twenty dollar rebate every single month. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And and Ivan, question um if if we don't have any like if you guys only have two branches, one in Chicago and one in Illinois. Um, how would I go about depositing cash? Let me get that here for you. Zero answers. Zero answers on hand. Customer service is all about making the experience great for the customer, making sure they understand everything. This guy must be, he might be new. I don't really know. As far as that, um, as depositing um, the cash, um, then that would be done like the uh, deposit taken ATM. A deposit taken ATM. And, and... 
So do you guys have like partnerships with other like credit unions and stuff like that? Or is it just like, like what ATMs? Cause all the ATMs that I know are like all point ATMs and they're all like, you know, just like withdraw cash. So how many of those like, um, cause we live in New York. How many of those ATMs do you guys have in New York? Like the cash taken ones? The cash taken ones? Let me see. Um, can you just provide me your zip code so, so I can see the, the yeah. ATMs around there? Yeah, area? sure. 104 five, eight. Question, Ivan. If, if we have Chase and we can deposit money at Chase, can we use um our Alliant um, debit card to use it at a Chase ATM and deposit the money through there? Like through that debit card at a Chase, at a Chase ATM? Yeah. That's a good, good question. Um, do you mind if I just place on the refold like just double check that? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so far, so far we have 10 minutes of complete. I don't know. I'm not sure. And every single person I know is always bragging about how credit unions have like the best customer service. But in reality, all I'm hearing is a whole bunch of, oh, I don't know. I don't know this. I don't know this. I don't know that. Like this is not stellar customer service. I call SoFi. I called Vero, I called Chase, I called Bank of America, I called Capital One. Any bank you can think of, I called them, and they're like 10 times better than this. It sounds like these people are very used to like just having customers just be like great and like shabby about everything, and this is not like stellar customer service. If you call this stellar customer service, then you obviously, you don't have any experience in customer service. And maybe I'm just biased because like I do this like for a living, but this is not stellar customer service at all. And I'm a whole now for one question on... On on ATMs. Are you serious? Hello. Yeah. Hey, Ivan. How are you? I'm sorry about that. It's okay. okay. So, as far as those uh um uh, as like that deposit with that debit card, um, so fortunately that feature wouldn't be available. Okay. Um, but since you do um, you did say you participate in uh um with Chase at the moment. Yeah. So with that, if you do make that deposit from from that cha um uh, into that Chase account. Yeah, because the thing uh, is, my the thing is, membership. yeah, because the thing is, my wife doesn't have Chase. Like, she doesn't have any other bank. So I know I might be able to like deposit inside of Chase and then send it to my Alliant account. But what about her, for example? Like in in the zip code that I gave you, are there any like um cash receiving ATMs? Yeah. So um, I was able to get like a, a few list here of um, deposit taking ATMs, and they are sur surcharge free also. Okay. So um, if you like um, yeah, there's like a, a few of them here that are relatively close to that area. The closest um, one is like 0.96 uh, miles, so it's like... Um, okay, and, and are these like ATMs, or are they like, um, are they stores like Rite Aid, 7-Eleven? Um, is that how it works, or is it just like real ATMs? So some of them are, are ATMs. Other of them are like service centers. Like the one is like in a hospital. Okay. Um, other ones are part of another credit union that you are able to use there. Okay. Um, just the, the ATMs. Okay. Yeah, because uh, as far as that, for that um, Chase account, you can do that deposit in there. And okay. then you can also set up external transfers with us here on our end. So you can transfer from that Alliant account into the, I mean, from that Chase account into the Alliant account. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Ivan. I think I'm going to talk to my wife, see what she thinks about it, and then see if it's a good fit for us. All right. Thank you. Now, you guys know me. I've called countless companies and I ask a lot of detailed questions, questions that most companies just like, they, they don't know whatsoever, right? But here's the deal. Usually they know all these basic questions because these are basic questions that anyone that doesn't know anything about the company, they would be asking when it comes to ATMs. First of all, the savings accounts, 2.10% isn't really that great. With um, Goldman Sachs, with SoFi, which is online banking and savings accounts, those are 2.25%. If you go with Vero, they give you 2.80% if you do like um, direct deposit here and there. So the 2.10% isn't really that great. The 0.65% on the check-ins accounts isn't even that great also. Like, for example, I'm not going to keep that much money in my check-ins accounts at all. Like, either my money is being invested or it's being saved. There's no middle ground with the check-ins accounts. So... All in all, I have to say this, okay? Now, it sounds great. It sounds amazing. They have a whole bunch of branches. Well, they don't. They only have two. And they have a whole bunch of ATMs that are free. Well, they don't also because all of them are usually like you either have to pay or you use the ones that they have or you can't use them at all. And the suggestion is like, well, if you want to deposit cash, you can either go to one of these participating like um, credit unions or you can just send the money from one bank to our bank. And I don't know why I would do that when I can just do that and then just go somewhere else that they offer better rates. So... All in all, Alliant is more for the person that, for example, if you're a federal employee or if you're an employee whatsoever, well, not even because anyone can actually have it just by doing this entire like um, giveaway or like donation to like um, the orphan kids. Well, you can do that. But here's the thing. To get 2.10% 
or to get like 0.69% on checkings accounts, those are all little marketing gimmicks. It's not that great, it's not that good. And I don't really recommend it at all. And I should make a whole video on this, but in reality, that's not the video I'm making today. So let's move on to the next one. Now, the next one is called Golden Credit Union. But before I even call them and tell you everything about them, I do have to say this. I checked them out. By the way, guys, this list is from the nerd wallet. So they say, like, for example, Alliant is the greatest. Um, Golden is the greatest for like, like college students and stuff like that. Well, I'm here to tell you this, not every single credit union on this list is actually a good one from my point of view. And I wanted to make sure you guys understand this because I didn't just want to tell you, well, you know, this is what Nerd Wallet says, so it must be true. But in reality, it's not. All right. Because I call these people, well, not call them. I did the research. I'm going to call them right now. And they're not that great. The golden one, they're basically trying to make you a product. Everything they offer when you go to the website that, by the way, looks like a 90s website. It looks like a relic of the past. Like it's not a great website. Please spend some money on remodeling the website, guys. It's not great at all. Golden Credit Union, I'm going to have the link down below. You guys can check it out yourself. It's not that great at all. And when I go to the website, the first thing I see is, well, you know, if you're a college student, we can consolidate your loan. We can have you at a lower minimum payment. And it all sounds to me like, well, you're just trying to take my money and then, yes, lower the minimum payment, but just have me there for a longer period of time. On top of that, you offer me credit cards, car loans, and all this stuff. And then when I get to the savings accounts by having to click three other pages, all I see is that you guys are offering between, what is it, 0.15% to 0.75%? Are you serious? Come on, it's, that's, it's not cool at all. So I'm going to call these people. And by the way, guys, these people are not 24-7. They are Monday through Saturday, but Saturdays they have lesser time. Like Saturdays they close at 5 p.m. Luckily, it is 2.56 here in New York. By the way, guys, I gave that guy a fake zip code. And I gave him my whole fake story. I do that all the time. So in this case, I'm going to call in. I'm going to say like, hey, you know, I'm a college student um blah 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 i'm about to graduate i have a bunch of loans just to make myself sound like a product so they can actually market more to me let's see what happens welcome to golden one credit union oh wait time one minute not bad let's see how long it takes thank you for calling member service this is priscilla how can i be of assistance hey priscilla my name is um tommy i'm not a member yet but i want to become a member i'm a college student and I heard about this um this credit union basically for students and college students and stuff like that. So I'm just calling in to ask a few questions, see if I qualify, and see what every what every, what everybody's talking about basically. Oh, wonderful. Let me get you over to my sales channel because I'm once you are a member with Golden One, I can assist you, but um not up until then. So let me get you over there, okay? Okay. Awesome. So I've been transferred again. Music is putting me to sleep. I'm going to wait two minutes. It shouldn't take longer than that. Any longer than that, I'm just going to hang up. It doesn't make sense for me to wait for someone that can't even comprehend like a, what a new customer is and how important it actually is to get them on the line as fast as possible. So I waited five minutes exactly and no one's on the phone yet. Still on hold with shabby music. I'm hanging up. It's not worth it. Now, here's the deal, guys. Usually, we always get to the point where we actually talk to customer service, but whenever that doesn't happen, because it has happened in the past, last time with the current app, I just tell you guys exactly what I was thinking from the beginning either way. So here's the deal. If you're a college student and you're being recommended this stuff, I recommend you don't even go with it. Just get a regular online bank like SoFi or Vero. They give you a really good rate on a savings account. On the top of it, you can use any ATM out there for free whenever you want to. And on top of that, if you go with SoFi, they actually give you student loan refinancing for a lower rate and a discount if you have a SoFi money. Now, here's the deal. I always recommend you guys shop around and just actually see like what other student loans rates there are out there because most of the time what they want to do is offer you a higher rate or a lower rate. But in reality, all they're trying to do is extend that minimum payment. So in reality, it might look like you're paying less money, but over time, you will be paying more and more money. So in reality, guys, Golden One, according to the Nerd Wallet, is one of the best out there. According to this review right now that you guys experienced just with me right now, but they can't even answer the phone for a new customer, not the best at all. Alliant, they're like, you know, subpar. Subpar right there with the with the savings and the and the check-ins and the customer service is 24-7. I like that. Maybe it was just like a one-time experience with this one guy. But right now, what I'm seeing is that none of these really the top ones are really the top ones. So let's try the last one. And it's actually my consumer credit union. So let's call them right now. The number is 877 275 222 
eight. Now I did notice something with these guys that these people are offering a five percent savings accounts, I think, or seconds accounts, but there are so much loopholes to jump through that it's basically just like a big marketing scheme that the average person has no way of actually getting into. Like at one point they say, like, well, you have to do twelve transactions a, a month. On top of that, you have to have ten thousand dollars. On top of that, you have to have this other thing and all this stuff, like like all these regulations just to get this five percent doesn't make any sense for me so let's call them and make sure they can actually verify everything and maybe i'm just misunderstanding or maybe i'm not let's find out right now thank you for calling consumers credit union where your life is our commitment awesome. your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes consumers credit union is currently closed oh. our normal business hours are monday through thursday 9 to 5 p.m okay there you go so these people are not 24 seven. And here's the main thing guys, I really want to break this down with these people that offer 5%, but in reality, you have to jump through a whole bunch of loopholes, like I said before, but here are the loopholes in detail. So you guys can actually understand what I'm actually talking about. Okay. So the first thing is this, if you have a regular savings accounts with them, they only offer you around 0.10% to 0.20%. On top of that, if you want to get that 5.09%, like they say, well, you have to make more than 12 transactions. So you have to spend over a thousand dollars every single month. And on top of that, you have have to have um e documents so you can't receive statements like on paper you have to receive them like over the internet i know what they're doing that to cut costs and just like and have clients i like, start doing it everything online rather than everything over the phone and over the mail i get that entire part but i don't like that you're making me have to spend money just so i can make five percent on a savings account don't like it don't want it but that's not the only thing guys because honestly when you ask me well tommy it's just 12 transactions and you only have to spend a thousand bucks a month right and that's not really a lot but i'm like that's just one of the qualifications so i should get it but if i had to do it i would just spend it like every single day like if i go buy coffee if i go buy, by the way i don't drink coffee i don't drink none of that stuff but if i go buy like starbucks or whatever it is and i buy stuff every single day i'll do like you know transactions every single day get it like that then i like sign up for the e-documents great and then i'll spend a thousand bucks great like I have expenses like that, but that's great. That's awesome. But this is the catch though. You can only do that 5% up to $10,000. So once you have over $10,000, they're not going to give you 5% anymore. They're just going to put you right back at 0.20%, which is lower than anyone else. So I recommend you guys just go with Goldman Sachs or um, SoFi or just do these people for your spending and then keep that 5% on the 10,000. But then the other, the, the rest of the money, just have it like somewhere else. By the way, I also think you have to set up direct deposit with them to also get that percentage. So it's too, way too much qualifications to actually get this. That's what I don't like about it. It's a gimmick and it's a sales pitch and it's marketing. So in reality, when you see a credit union like this, it says, oh my gosh, we're the best at this. And you go in and say like, well, you know, you can get 5%, but you need to do all this stuff. I don't like it. I don't think it's fair for the normal person. And it should just be like available for everyone out there. It's a credit union. It's not a bank. It's not for profit. So just make sure you guys understand this. Now, guys, I haven't forgotten about the fourth bonus point, right? I'm going to call them right now. But before I do that, guys, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know if you guys understand exactly what I'm talking about when I say this stuff, right? Because the first thing is this, right? The first credit union we actually reviewed was the Checking accounts and savings accounts that's pretty high, but in reality, SoFi and other online banks are already doing this. The second thing is, well, the golden one um, credit union with the college students and stuff like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Customer service is bad. And on top of that, they're just trying to product you and just trying to have you like buy something from them and just trying to get some money from you. So I don't like that point. The third thing is the consumer one. They have by the way, the 5% is ridiculous. It's amazing. It's awesome. But there's too much regulations attached to it. And that's why I don't like it. If you guys get rid of that, then I'm completely fine with it. And let me know, guys, in the comments down below if you agree with what I'm saying or if you don't agree. So comment yes if you agree. Comment no if you don't agree. And the bonus one, guys, is actually the Federal Credit Union. That stands for HFCU. And one of you guys in the comments actually told me about this, but I already had that idea in place because I did see that they offer 5% on a savings account. And all you have to do, according to them, is just like, you know, like have money recurring, like going into the account every single month. I think like $100 a month. That's not bad at all. If I can deposit $100 a month with no limits whatsoever and earn 5%, then I'm good to go. That's great. That's awesome. And that's one of the highest rates I ever seen in my life. But they do have some strict qualifications. So let's call them right now and actually find out if they're as good as they say. So the number is 800-656-4328. And the reason I always give you guys a number is so if you guys don't believe me, you guys can actually call in, talk to them and see if they're right for you. And if they're not right for you, then I told you. And if they are right for you, then you comment down below and say, like, Tommy, I called them. They were so nice. What are you talking about? You know? So just tell me in the comments down below. So let's call them right now. Member services. This is Sharon Hagen. How may I help you? Hey, Sharon. My name is I'm Tommy. I'm just calling in because me and my wife are looking for a new credit union to actually participate in. And I saw 
that you guys have a lot of things actually going on. I just wanted to ask you guys a few questions, see if, if it's good for us, is a good fit or not, if that's cool with you. Okay, I'm more than happy to help you as best I can, Tommy. Um, what questions do you have? Um, first of all, Sharon, um, what do we need to actually qualify for this one? Okay, in order uh, for membership requirements, if you work for or are a member of a federal agency based in Massachusetts, part of our select employee group, um, any sponsoring organization, or have an immediate family member or live in the same whole household as a current member, you're eligible to join us. Okay. Um, we do have online uh, applications. Okay. Uh, do you have access to the internet? Yeah, we do have um, access to the internet. Yeah, very detailed. I love this. Um, for further detail, uh, specifically on that. Okay. And um, Sharon, and what about the the savings accounts? Because I did see rates of five percent on the savings accounts. How does that work? Let me get that information pulled up for you, sir, because I can't rely on my memory. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Good idea. It's all about personality, okay. giddy, and jokes. Types of savings account. We've got the certificates, of course, and then. Um, we have a, the CU Thrive account. Mm -hmm. the CU and what's Thrive. the rate on that one? It's bill safe. Um, give me just a second, and I will get you the rate. One moment here. Okay. Um, and you can choose um, any amount from $5 to 500 to be transferred into that savings. Okay. And let me go ahead and pull up the dividend rate on that. The APY is 5.00%. Okay. Okay, and the dividend rate is 4.89%. What do you mean by dividend rate? Um, that's what becomes monthly, and then it end, ends up to be your annual percentage. The yield mm -hmm. ends up to be 5% a month. Okay, and then how do... Okay, what do I need to, like, qualify for that one? Is it, like, do I need to make certain deposits? Do I need to do transactions? Or is it just, like, I just need to, like, open that up and just, like, deposit the money and it just grows like that? Right. Uh, you need to become a member, mm -hmm. and you need to have... a a checking account with us at least. Okay. Um, and then the money is automatically transferred from your checking from anywhere from $5 to as much as 500 per month. Okay. And um, everything that you deposit in there is going to earn that um, rate for the term of one year. Oh, for the term okay. of one and year. after the one year. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that term for that interest rate is for one year. And we'll tell you what the Thrive account rate will be for the following year. Um, and then you can start all over and save for another year. Okay, awesome. And question, is there any limits of how much I can save in that one year? Well, it's up to 500 per month. Oh, yeah, so then it's the 500 times 25. 12, which is, what is it, like 6,000? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, 6,000. Yeah, and for example, last last year, because, you know, like what I'm hearing is that it changes every now and then. Last year, like how much was it? I don't have that information. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what it was. Can you, can you can you look it up, please? I don't have it available to. Oh, you me. don't have it available Sorry. to you. I, yeah, because what I'm trying no, like what, what I'm trying to figure out is like just to make sure that um like because it sounds like every year you guys change it up just to make sure that you guys like um for the, like if there's like a record, just like at least like an average of what you guys usually get for this account. Right now, I would be happy to get an account specialist uh, to contact you back with that information. Or you could contact us during our regular business hours. Okay, that, that sounds great. I'll, I'll contact you guys. Thank you. Is, is, is it just me or these people? They're really nervous today. I don't know why, but the main thing is this, guys. This is summary. This is where everything actually comes together. I called four different ones. I wasn't happy with the experience with all of them. And the last one, the bonus one with the 5%, is actually one of the best ones. But the one of the main things is this, right? That I can't really earn that. 5% for the rest of my life. I can only earn it for that first year. And on top of that, she doesn't have a record keeping of the entire like years prior to that because that would help me actually get some indication of what the future would probably be, you know, because it could say like, well, you know, you're in 5% your first year and then next year you get like 0.1%. And I'm like, wait, what? What just, what just happened, you know? So that's my main thing. And it's only up to $6,000 and then $6,000 to do some quick math. The maximum you can actually earn from them is around $300 off of that $6,000, which is very high and very crazy. But if it's not dependable, then how can I actually trust it? That's my main thing.
and you need a lot of qualifications you heard to actually meet this one now guys this was a very long video so if you made it to the end thank you so much and if you liked the video then like the video please and then comment down below and let me know what you liked about it if you learned anything new and if you disliked the video let me know why you disliked it also in the comments down below so i can get better obviously and on top of that guys make sure you guys subscribe and like and comment and all that fancy stuff because i post videos every single day and when you do subscribe make sure to click that notification button because that way you get notified whenever i upload a video and you can find out how to make money how to earn money how to invest money and all that fancy stuff that they didn't teach you in high school which is strange and guys if you have more information that you need from me just dm me on instagram at tommy bryson and follow me there and we can keep talking from there guys very long video but definitely worth it and guys my final 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 conclusion if you got to this part of the video is that Credit unions are not that great. Customer service kind of sucks, honestly. But when it comes to like, you know, the rates and stuff like that, it's kind of more competitive than they are with like, you know, with um with banks. But online banks have all that stuff already, so it's not really a, a big deal for me. I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thanks for watching and peace. You've got to start at the bottom.